Guys, so I wanted to let you guys know that I am still working on a first impression slash review for this specific watch. Link is in the description if you guys want to check it out. But again, I do have a review or first impressions video of it coming soon. There's just a couple more tests that I'm doing. But I got to say, guys, for $34, this is really, really good, maybe. Uh, you guys be the judge once that video comes out. But without further ado, let's talk about the Apple Watch. Here we have an article from Apple Track, uh, Sam Cole, the Apple Watch Series 8 may get body temperature sensors later this year, but it's for women only. And the title right here kind of has me thinking a lot. First of all, why for women only? And second, you know, how is this body temperature sensor going to work? You know, what's it going to tell? How much information is it going to tell? So let's read the article and we'll see here. Of course, we see what we hope to see the Series 8 look like. Uh, we were thinking that this is going to be the Series 7 and it wasn't. So hopefully this will be the Series 8. Or a lot of people are even thinking the Sport Edition. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, though. Uh, so the rumor, Apple is working to add a body temperature sensor to Apple Watch Series 8, but not how you'd expect, according to Mark Berman, who is 86.4% accurate via Bloomberg. All right, so while major health advancements like non Invasive glucose monitoring and a blood pressure sensor are still years away. German says that the Apple Watch Series 8 could get a body temperature sensor later this year. But here's the thing. The body temperature sensor won't actually tell you the temperature of your body. And initially, it'll only be for women to help them with fertility planning. Okay. Uh, I'm curious to know what exactly uh, it's going to show, like the information, like I said. But uh, rather than provide precise measurements, the feature will be like Apple's other health pursuits, a moderately helpful general guide meant for wellness not a medical grade health device. Sam's take. I have to be honest. This one of the most disappointing rumors I've ever heard. I think helping helping women with fertility tracking is awesome. But if Apple will be using temperature data to do this, why not just share that with the user? I had incredibly high hopes for the Apple Watch as a serious health device, but it looks like Apple just wants it to be a tool, not the tool for your health. German says down the road, a future Apple Watch might be able to tell you if your temper temperature is higher than normal. Example, a fever, but also that this Apple Watch is unlikely to show an actual measurement. And honestly, I really think that this is so far correct. I mean, I don't really know how Apple Watch will be able to tell your temperature. I think that's kind of weird, um, considering we usually do it under the tongue, under the uh, arms, and so on. So, I don't know. But... Listen, I get that there's a tremendous liability involved in giving users health data, but Apple's current and future health sensor just don't sound like they'll be all that useful. Why stop 
halfway there and call it a day when you could take some extra time to really get things right and create something truly trans transformative. And yeah, exactly my point. I think that honestly, um, you know, with, with what we have already, I think that this would be cool. I just, I don't know. There's just a lot of work to be done here. Um, you know, I think that they could do a lot more work and try a little bit harder. Um, I don't think that people, I mean, I'm surely not happy with it um, from what I'm hearing. Um, and it doesn't look like Sam is either or whoever wrote this article. But um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the review of this watch. Like I said, I will do a spoiler. In some ways, this is really better than Apple Watch in some ways. But there are some downsides to it as well. So, again, um, stay tuned for it. And, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.